What's going on everybody? Welcome to Blind Power. Today I have a great, great, great subject for you. So, for all of us who are blind, visually impaired, and are programmers, and we need some tips to help us program. Well, I got some for you. Um, if you're sighted, these tips may help you avoid eye constraint or restraint, whatever you want to call it, when your eyes get tired. So let's get started. I have like five of them for you. So let's let's get started with this. It's a great subject. I've been programming since I was 14, and some of these I've been using since day one. So these are not just for visually impaired, but also for the blind. So at number five, if for example you're using a screen reader, comment all your code. By commenting your code, essentially you achieve more understanding of your code. So for example if you comment on top of a print statement you say this is a print statement that prints a character array then you know oh that prints a character array and then when you read it with a screen reader you you ca you know what's there a little bit better so you don't have to understand the screen readers jibber jabber reading the code you can just understand your comments which is awesome at number four honestly use bigger text. If you're on your IDE and you're coding, use bigger text. Bigger text makes it easier to see your code and avoids eye tiredness. I don't know if it's constraint or restraint. I don't know. I don't, words are hard. Um, so yeah, it just makes your eyes a little bit more comfortable with um, a little bit bigger text. The wider and the bigger your monitor is, the bigger you can make it with, while fitting the more code on the screen. You don't want to make it too big where only you know a portion of a line of code will be shown because then you're not efficient. You're slowing your uh, coding process down by making the font bigger. At number three, you have your IDE, Android Studio, Visual Studio, and that means um, code blocks. They all have this um, thing, Notepad++ Plus Plus as well. Just about every IDE has this thing called Darkula. Um, it's a plugin if it's not installed. They even have it in Chrome. Um, and Darkula is great because it essentially makes everything dark. A dark background which makes your eyes a little lot easier um, when you're coding. I say a little lot because, I mean I could say a little bit but it's not, it's, it's a lot. I mean it, it makes your, if you're coding for 16 hours straight, you know, your eyes aren't going to be as tired. So that's definitely a plus. You don't lose I mean, we're already blind and visually impaired. We don't want to lose more vision that we already have, so we got to take care of it. At number two, organize your code in a legible format. Okay? Um, organizing your code in a legible format makes it really, really handy because you can actually know where things are and you're not struggling to see everything. You know, okay, this is here, this is here, this is here. If you're doing object oriented, separate things into neat classes and objects and stuff. Try to keep everything as organized as possible so that your vision will not slow, slow you down when you code. At number one, this one I, I, I recently discovered. Um, if you really, really are having a hard time uh, understanding anything with a screen reader or you really can't uh, understand what's going on with your code, Believe it or not, you can actually create simpler methods that do the same thing as more complicated ones, but you can have your own, essentially your own personal uh, accessible classes um, depending on, your, on the programming language. So, for example, uh, if you're C++, you can put a print statement, uh, you, can, you can say, uh, you can put a print statement and in the parentheses you pass what you want to print to the screen instead of having to do see how greater greater and then um, the double quotes so that, that way the screen reader just says print and then uh, whatever you're printing inside so you can do these little tips to change out how your IDE works how your programming language works so you can create methods that are more accessible uh, I'm actually considering creating some and putting them on GitHub so you guys can use them. Uh, I've already created some for printing, for uh, getting input from the keyboard. Um, and so I'll see if I can post some of them on GitHub. Uh, now I'll do a video on that as well. But those are the tips for a blind visually impaired programmer. Honestly, it's great. It's the best thing you can do. 
do these things, Darkula is super, super handy. Um, you know, if you comment in your code with the screen reader, you can understand everything, you know, a lot better. Uh, make your own methods. Imagine making your own methods with commenting code. It's going to be so easy for you to program using your screen reader. And using Darkula with larger font text, guess what? It's going to make life a lot easier when you're programming as well. So there you go. The blind perspective and the sighted visually impaired perspective. If you're sighted, these tips with Darkula and large text will actually help you keep your sight longer and avoid eye restraint or restraint, whatever you call it. Avoid your eyes getting tired. So if you have any other suggestions or questions, comment down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, rate, subscribe. You know what I do. I will see you in the next one. And by the way, thank you for 100 subscribers. I can't believe it. We finally made it. We're 102 subscribers. Our goal is to make it to 1,000 now. So once we get to 1,000 subscribers, then we're going to reach our goal. I know we're going to get there. You guys are awesome. You guys are killing it. So see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.